What is up guys, this is Linthio coming at you with a discussion today about the new starter decks that came out, which was Saber Force and Dark Legion that came out not too long ago. And it sent a kind of annoying vibe throughout the community. Everyone is very disappointed at the fact that these decks are technically terrible, quote-unquote terrible. And the reason why they're terrible is they don't have any good cards in them, according to the community, or the vast majority of the community anyway. And a lot of the Yugi tubers have done discussions on them saying that they're the worst ever and they're all terrible. The big thing that I think me people have missed out on, or they've even commented on it but skated over the fact, this is a starter deck. Now there is a difference between a starter deck and a structure deck. The facility is a starter deck is for brand new players who have never played the game before, which introduces every single type of a main deck card. So if we look at the starter decks, it has every single version of the card in there apart from, I think, field spell. It has traps, normal traps, normal spells, monsters, monsters including effects, tributes, even vanillas, as well as equips, counter traps, and quick plays, everything like that. The whole point of the deck is to educate new starters in the game. And if we just give them, say, a knockoff version of a Mermel deck, well, that's great, they have a really good deck, but they're not going to understand a lot of the fundamental cards that are in the game, even some of the most basic cards in there. So that's one side of the argument, and I get that some people are saying, well, there are better versions of the cards that it could use. Instead of having negate attack, they could have something like a wiretap, or some other better form of counter traps. On the one part, I agree, but we have to look at it as the fact that this isn't aimed at us at all. This isn't aimed at the older or just, in general, competitive scene, because we don't need starter decks. Now, there were some people that said that if you compare the starter decks to the original starter decks back in the day, where you got a super dark hole in, obviously, Legend of Blue Eyes, and then you got a reprint dark hole, well, yeah, that was pretty good. But the difference is, the game's been going for about 15 years in the TCG, and you need to have a certain amount of staple cards. Dark hole in a starter deck is a staple card. It makes sense back then and it makes sense now because you have to have some form of mass removal because those decks are slow and if your opponent summons their big monster you don't have that many outs in the deck simply because you haven't built it it is a starter deck i feel people forget the fact that not every product is aimed at the competitive scene and konami don't solely and this is important, they don't solely concentrate on the competitive scene because you're already playing the game. Let's face it, the whole essence of the game is to get people into it, get new people rolling in and out. If you only concentrated on the competitive scene, new players would be very confused because there's so much happening. And this is a very complicated game if you really think about it. Might be for three plus, but I'm sorry, this game is very bloody complicated when you go to competitive events and when there are big rulings and decks out. It is quite daunting. You need a simple product that is absolutely black and white to give to these new starters and say, here, this is the key fundamental type of cards that you will be using, and then go from there. And another thing, people saying that it's stupid that Mystical Elf's in there. Well, maybe so, but the fact that it's a vanilla card is actually quite important because it wasn't that long ago we had vanilla cards in the main deck for Rescue Rabbit. So there are always going to be important cards that people need to learn about. And again, while you could say they could have had Sabersaurus and Cabazors or Gemini Elf in there instead of a defending type, at the end of the day, you've just got to let this slide. This isn't aimed at you. So please don't be so harsh on the fact that you don't like it. Because at the end of the day, you're not meant to like it. This isn't aimed at you, it's not aimed at me, it's aimed at new people starting out in the game. It's so easy at these Comic Cons or at these big events where, you know, new starters come in with their parents and you can say, hey, there is a £7.99 deck or $10 deck that you and your friends can pick up to the parents and say, here you go, this can be great for your kids. It's self-explanatory, all the rules are in there, all the different card types. If you like it, you can then start buying the packs. 
It is an entry level product and that is all it is meant to be and it's not meant to be anything else. So I want to know what you guys think of the actual structure decks. Do you think it is a complete waste of time for yourself and they should never do them? Or do you actually see the reason why they are doing it? So as I said, let me know down in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe and I should catch you guys later.